Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to our video. First off, uh, I should mention, if you hear any background noise, that's either my keyboard or my fan. It is really hot here today, uh, and so that would be it. Um, but anyways, I should go ahead and move on to what we're actually doing this episode, which is covering Phil Clone and Setbok. As I'm recording this, I'm at 597 subscribers, but take that number with a grain of salt because I've had the weirdest subscriber fluctuations, and this is a pre-recorded video. Uh, anyways, currently... We have gone ahead and covered Teller Execute, Tidal, Scoreboard, Trigger, Test 4, Gamer, Replace, Item, Kill, Functions, and Phil Clone, and Set Walk. Or at least that's this episode. Anyways, yeah, once again, thank you for 597 subscribers. I'll probably have hit 600 by the time this video is out, but I, you never know. Alright, so Fill Clone and Set Block are all incredibly valuable commands because they allow you, of course, to fill in certain areas. Um, so let's go ahead here and start off by creating an extra platform. Um, and I don't think I want to do this here because I actually like this little island here and I don't think we need anything else. We're going to instead head over to our old area. Uh, in fact, well, hmm, yeah, we'll do it near this old area here. And I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the fill command. Uh, and of course, as always, I will have timestamps in the description below if you need them. Okay, so fill. Uh, fill allows you to, go, of course, fill in a certain area. So if I move all the way back here, um, fill, you notice... Know, uh, uses fill and then the coordinates. So x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. So what does this mean? Well, it takes first off one, it takes two corners. So for example, x1, y1, z1 could be right here. So fill 64, uh, 5, negative 92, or 93-ish, right? And then let's give the second one. Now we're going to actually stay on the same y coordinate, so it'll be like a flat surface. And this time it'll be 52, 5, negative 103, and then the block, so we're going to do um, a log, um, and the reason for that is then I could show you what data values are. So data values um, allow you to specify certain information about it. For example, I could specify the type of log, um, which you'll notice if I mouse over here, it would be, for example, uh, I would put an in information like axis, I might need to put this... Uh, inside of a little bracket. I don't know. Anyways, point is, um, you're, you're, you're able to typically put in data variants, but you could also, of course, just use the numbers, um, which is probably the easiest way to do it. You notice 4 actually creates a really nice looking log, there, or log effect there. But of course, if I wanted to create a cube, I would just change the Y coordinate, because we're currently just on one little plane here. We're on a flat area. So if I were to change this to say 7, that means it will span Y coordinates 5 to 7. Of course, Y is up and down. X, you know, is this way, and Y is forward and backwards for me right now. Uh, ish. Anyways, yeah, now you notice it created a 3 3 layer thick. Okay, so now that we have that, and of course you can fill an extra data tag info, but I'm not going to go into that right now. Um, of course, now that you have that, say you wanted to make a copy of it to put somewhere else. And I know I'm kind of speeding through this, but I do, of course, want to cover everything and not waste your time um, doing it faster than I would usually do, I think. The next command, of course, is the clone command. And the clone command allows you to go ahead and clone certain blocks. And it's kind of like a copy and paste type thing. And I should mention before I continue, thank you to Shatter on Patreon for supporting me. He helps make these videos possible um, and also support my service. So thank you for that. And let me just continue on here. Anyway, so yeah, clone works very similarly to um, to the fill command because clone allows you to go ahead and duplicate sets of blocks um, based on existing blocks. So uh, I'm going to clone this little structure that I just created. And in order to actually fill in coordinates, by the way, here's a nice little trick. If you're facing the block that whose coordinates you want, of course, you do have a little thing under F3 that says looking at. What you could do is just press tab, space, tab, space, tab, and it'll copy down the coordinates. So those first coordinates, and now I'm going to grab the second coordinates here. So tab, 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 there we go. And then X, Y, and Z, so that's where I want to put them. So I'm going to just put them right here. And so instead of putting an actual coordinates, I'm just going to put three tildes, uh, which will go ahead and mean at my current location. And then I'll ask for mask mode and clone mode. So mask mode and clone mode are both optional, and it tells uh, basically the command... Uh, like a certain filtering option, uh, essentially. So, for example, I could say replace. And replace would mean it will clone everything, including the air. So, basically, if you, for example, had... Um, I mean, replace would be the default one. If you, for example, had a room, right, it would mean that it would clone the air, too, and it would fill in, you know, 
just keeping it empty. Mast clears everything that isn't air. So that would mean if you were to clone a room, say for example there were like um, random blocks in that area that you were filling it in, those blocks would still be there if they were inside the room. Um, and filtered um, clears only blocks that match um, exactly which block you want to filter, which you could put after mask mode. Um, so for example, I could do uh, filtered and then uh, after I put in my clone mode, which I would say be normal, I could do say stone. Um, and that would mean it would only move stone. Anyways, so we're going to do replace normally for, for this first part. And then next is clone mode. So clone mode is very nice because it allows uh, you to specify how to do how to actually do the clone for the command. So for example, if I do normal, it'll just run as usual and it'll copy them. Force um, kind of well, typically when you try when you try to clone something, and it would be in the same coordinates as where you just were, it wouldn't allow you to clone it because, well, at least from what I understand, um, because it would already be there and it would kind of glitch out. So force would essentially say, you know, fill it in even if there's already stuff there, or even if the original thing is already there. Um, I don't care about that. Okay. So the last part here is move, and move is actually kind of my favorite one here because it allows you to actually move sets of blocks. And I'll show you what move does right now. Bang. I just moved that entire thing all the way over here. Um, and of course, I could go ahead and demonstrate this to you with a different type of thing here. So let me move it. Uh, we will go ahead and run it with a quick... Rep um, Replace, and we'll do normal. And there you go, it's right there. So clone is a fairly useful command. Um, it has, you know, obviously a lot of uses. You could use it to move things, um, which I personally like a lot. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this so I can move on to set block. Um, and so just let me get rid of this, and then uh, we will head back to our main area. All right, so now that we are back in our main area, we're going to go ahead and be covering set block. So set block allows you to set a specific block, um, as the name kind of implies. So the syntax for set block is set block, the coordinates, um, the block, and then of course different data. So um, what's interesting with set block is it has a lot of uses for wireless stuff. So for example, wireless redstone can be done with set block. Let me show you an example here. If I were to give myself um, a piston and a command block what i could do here so i could do something like you know have a piston here with i don't know what I, let's put light blue wool on top of it why not just actually let's make it a sticky piston why not um sticky piston and place it on top like that okay now say for example i wanted a wireless way to activate that and actually <laughs> uh, i'm going to activate it from below so let me do that okay so first off, let's find these blocks coordinates. So if I do set block, those coordinates, and I just set it to air, there you go. You basically just set it to what you want to be set to, fairly simply. But if I, for example, to go here and say do redstone, um, then I could have it so that whenever I press this button, um, if I set it to the right thing, which is redstone underscore block, <laughs> then you'll notice it goes ahead and fills in and activates. But what if I, for example, were to want to have it deactivate immediately after? All I have to do is add a repeater, um, clone this command block, but instead of redstone block, to set it to air. So now here's what happens. There you go. You could actually get one of those one tick extenders that'll just leave the block even though it's a sticky piston. And of course, I could change this if I wanted to. I could make this you know, three ticks so that you don't get that effect um, or something. Or that was like, yeah, those two takes, I believe. Um, and you could do all sorts of fun stuff with this. So point is, set block is incredibly useful. Uh, of course, you can't fill in off as large as a uh, large areas um, that you would typically be able to do with um, with something like clone or fill, but they're nevertheless fairly. It's nevertheless a fairly useful command. And that I think we have already covered um, everything here. Let me just double check. Um, I actually want to see here. Okay, actually, we have beat um, the last Phil Clone Set Block video I made by about two minutes.
minutes. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I make command block videos every Wednesday. And I hope you have enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.